Hey folks, Carlos Calcian, Corporate Director of Sales here at Big Battery. We're going back into the food trucks and we're replacing generators for lithium today. This is Luis, co-owner of MSM Catering, and we want to show you what kind of power we're supplying for this particular food truck. So here we've got an 11.8 Condor Elite, and we're paralleling to a Husky 5.3. We're also adding a 12K inverter. We're putting in a 20 amp uh, charger and a parallel bus bar. When you purchase this set, all of the cables come free with each battery and each inverter. So uh, let's go on inside and see what we've done. So we're inside the Killer Taco food truck. It's been custom designed by Luis at MSM Catering. And so I um, kind of want to ask you a couple of questions about your food truck. Can you tell me what, what you're powering today in this food truck? So this particular food truck, it's considered a 22 foot um, taco truck. It's customized for the customer specs. Every truck we do is built to customer specs. This one has a two door refrigerator, which we use the brand True. It's a T35 model. We're also using a T23F, which is a freezer True. So it has one refrigerator, a freezer upright, and it has a deli top sandwich prep refrigerator. So that'll be considered a fourth, uh, third refrigerator. Okay, and um, so the generator that is usually used for this uh, type of food truck, this application, can you tell me what you're planning to replace? What kind of generator is it? This generator we're using right now, it's a Honda 7000 watt generator. Um, this new system, uh, Lithium, is going to replace that generator. Okay, and what, if you were to order a generator today, what's the lead time? Well, one thing is um, Hondas are not being approved in California because of emissions. So we have to outsource a different brand and our lead time is between four to eight months right now. What's the average runtime that you're seeing with your customers? Um, what kind of power, what kind of runtime is required for them to be out there in the field and to be able to complete their task? Uh, average um, working hours for them is between seven to maybe 11 hours tops. And when are they gonna be able to charge these batteries? Um, Every truck is supposed to go to a commissary at night. Um, at night, they get a, uh, station their truck at the commissary and they power between six to eight hours of, of house power. Now we're going in and we're replacing generators. Would you say that you'd recommend this to um, the, your customers going forward? Oh yes, I highly recommend this, this system. Um, this is gonna replace um, fuel cost, mm -hmm. um, emissions that C California is trying to eliminate, and also maintenance. There's gonna be maintenance free, and we really like the warranty that are giving us from these items. So you're getting a 10 year warranty. You don't have to replace the fuel. You don't have to do any more maintenance. Correct. And the CARBS uh, Air Resource Board is move, moving forward where you know, real soon, it's going to be banned from California to Correct. begin with. Yes, that would be all generators pretty soon. So this is a win-win for MSM Correct. and for all of the customers. And this is a win for all the food truck industry. Uh, we now provided you a way to keep cooking and supply your food out to the market. The first step to your installation is finding an opening where you can place your new lithium battery kit. We recommend taking measurements prior to installation and reviewing your owner's manual to gather in-depth understanding of the installation process. We've gone ahead and removed the wheels to create more space. Next, take the caps off the inverter positive and negative terminals using screwdriver as seen in this clip. Now connect your BB350 ring terminals to the corresponding terminals on the inverter. Make sure to tighten those connections. We recommend two people or more when moving the batteries. Now place the bus bar in an open area where nothing will interfere with the bus bar. Make sure your cables can reach the bus bar and still be able to plug into your batteries. We recommend drilling your bus bar into a surface to avoid any movement for this video, we will not be drilling the bus bar as this is an example installation. Remove the caps. Install your cables. In this example, we are installing the BB350 cable for the inverter and two BB175 cables for our batteries. You can also install the charger to the bus bar for easy plug and play charging. 
make sure to tie in all connections and place the caps back on. Now connect the BB350 cable on the terminal to the BB350 cable on the inverter. Make sure your batteries are turned on and connect the BB175 cables into the batteries. When connecting the Anderson cable, make sure it is pushed in thoroughly. Continue pushing past the first click to fully connect the cable. Set your inverter parameters to big batteries, lithium specifications. We recommend reading the owner's manual in depth for this section. Once everything is plugged in, we highly recommend securing your batteries with straps to avoid wear and tear. Louis, thank you again for coming to Big Battery to do your lithium install. Again, my name is Carlos Calton, and you can find us on bigbattery.com. Thank you, Carlos. I'm Luis Elgadillo with MSM Catering Trucks Manufacturing. Follow us below.